A mysterious radial signal from a distant constellation defies explanation for more than 30 years. One possibility is that it really was a signal from deep space coming from some other society. It looked as if it was being deliberately sent. A lone scientist's chance encounter inspires a theory which may finally solve the mystery. And if it's true, it would be the discovery of a lifetime. August 15th, 1977. At 11.16 p.m., an astronomer at Ohio State University detects a strange signal coming from the constellation of Sagittarius. Well, one day in 1977, there was something so interesting that he wrote, wow, next to it. The wow signal, as it's now called, is considered to be one of the best potential radio communications from an alien life form. The signal is on the precise frequency scientists predict extraterrestrials could use for communication. It's called the hydrogen line. This frequency, 1420 megahertz, the hydrogen line, comes from when you've zapped hydrogen, you've given it energy, and this is the frequency it screams at. Hydrogen accounts for 73% of all the matter in the universe. Scientists can energize hydrogen atoms to make them move, and when they move, they give off a frequency that can travel vast distances through space. The scientists believe that alien races might use this particular frequency because it's one of the most abundant emitters of radio waves in the universe. So if anybody was looking, they might expect to see signals exactly on the hydrogen line. For years, astronomers have searched for a repeat of the wow signal, but they've only heard silence. They went back the next night and listened, nothing. Next month, nothing. Years later, nothing. That doesn't mean it wasn't ET necessarily. It could be that they just sent us one signal and then went away. For four decades, the origin of the mystery signal has divided opinion. In July 2015, astronomer Antonio Paris is driving home from work when a revelation hits him. So I'm driving along looking at a truck overpassing and I think of the truck as an object in space, and I say to myself, I'll probably never see that truck again. And that's sort of like what the wow signal is. Most scientists believed the mystery signal's disappearance was proof that it had been a random event. The truck moving over the highway leads Paris to a different theory. The signal didn't disappear, it moved. Maybe the signal wasn't from the depths of space, but from something much closer to us that just passed in front of the telescope, made its noise, and then moved away. And that would explain why you see it once and you don't see it again, because you know it just passed across your field of view. Paris' theory explains the signal's disappearance, but not why it was broadcasting on such a cosmically significant wavelength. This is a very small frequency and it's protected. So he, here on Earth, we cannot use that frequency. So we have to deduce that the source has to be uh, extraterrestrial in nature. Whatever's producing this signal must either have deliberately chosen this particular wavelength or be producing large quantities of hydrogen. Some suggest that the mystery source could simply be a comet. Comets have a lot of hydrogen gas. When excited by sunlight, they radiate energy in exactly the same wavelength as that radio telescope was monitoring. Paris searches NASA comet databases from 1977. When he does, he discovers two possible suspects for the mystery signal. I revisited what I call the crime scene, and I found two comets that were in the very same area, same date, same time that the wow signal was detected. Paris's theory seems like a smoking gun, but the data suggests whatever produced the wow signal was no ordinary comet. The comet theory fits some of the facts, but what are the odds that a comet could produce a radio signal of that strength? Normally, the hydrogen cloud around a comet nucleus is very faint, so there's no natural way to have this much hydrogen unless somehow there was some unusual activity at the surface of the comet. 
What activity could cause a spike in the hydrogen around a comet? Some speculate it could be due to mining the comet's core. When we take to space and begin industrializing space and mining comets, that's the kind of signal that we might expect to emit. Comets are really a valuable resource for natural materials. Any alien civilization would want to exploit them as they moved farther into outer space. NASA and private corporations are currently developing the technology to land on and mine comets for their resources. The idea of landing on a comet and mining it is not inconceivable. The Rosetta mission just landed on a comet. We know we have the technology and the capabilities to do this. To date, scientists and astronomers have observed more than 3,000 comets, not one has emitted anything close to the wow signal. If it's not a comet, uh, we're back to square one. What was the cause of the wow signal? Nobody really wants to say, hey, this is a signal from outer space. But oddly enough, that's what this looks like.